Hi, AT from CNC at Home. You know how I love to do tiles, and I use different methods. I use colored paints, I use white paint method, I use cold galvanizing compound, and I use titanium dioxide directly on the tiles, suspended in a denatured alcohol mixture, and love that one. It turns out great. The other methods are valid, they work, but I like the titanium dioxide directly. I had several viewers suggest that I use water instead of denatured alcohol, mix in some white glue, and then the titanium dioxide. So that's what I did. I gave it a shot. Here's the results. I've got a jar filled with some white liquid. I tried different ratios to see what would work best. Let's take a look at those and see how they turned out. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. Let's take a look at those tiles. This first tile is one part titanium dioxide, two parts water, and one part school glue. There are some good spots, and then there's some bad spots. The issue is I'm not getting consistent quality in each one of these squares, so the coverage of the titanium dioxide isn't very good. So what I did was I tried a different ratio. This was with one part titanium dioxide, three parts water, and one part glue. So I've just added a little bit more water. Again, it's just not consistent. There's some squares that have, uh, well, there's no square that has the same consistency on it. Uh, these over here are about the best, but not really good. So that's not a good ratio. So I added more water. This one was one part titanium dioxide, four parts water, one part glue. And as you can see, it's, it's just spotty. There's some dark spots here, here, and here. Um, there's, it, it's just not consistent. Now again, I'm painting this on and it just wasn't working real well. So more ratios. What I decided to do was try a little more titanium dioxide. So what we have here is two parts titanium dioxide, four parts water, one part glue. Over here, these look really nice, but over here you can see that it's not getting distributed very evenly. And that's my concern. It's like, I want the whole thing to be consistent. These speeds and feeds should have all turned out fairly black. So that tells me that I'm not getting good distribution. I wanted to give it one more try two parts titanium dioxide, five parts water, and one part school glue. Very similar to the last one. It, it looks decent up here, but still spotty. And you can see that it's just not getting a good distribution of the titanium dioxide. So I was really disappointed in using this particular method. What I did was I grabbed my normal mixture and I just poured it on a tile and just tipped it up on its corner, drained it off, and tried that. Here's what it looks like. This turned out much, much nicer. Um, it looks like I bumped the tile probably before I did it, uh, anything on it. The, uh, the titanium dioxide, once the denatured alcohol dries, is very sensitive. If you just bump it, it gets brushed off because it's pretty much just sitting on the tile. All in all, these settings uh, worked really well. It's getting a little light up here, really nice and dark over here. So dumping the TiO2 mixture on the tile works much better than the school glue method and a paintbrush. As we found out, not the greatest results. Um, it kind of worked, it kind of didn't work. I don't know if it's the painting it on, if I don't have my mixture ratios right. If you've tried this method where you use white school glue with water and titanium dioxide and you've gotten it to work, put it down in the comment. Let me know what your mix ratio is and how you apply it. I used a foam brush and it seemed to go on okay, but I didn't get even coverage. I didn't get good consistent titanium dioxide over the entire surface area. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you like the content of our channel, think about subscribing as that really helps us out. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops.
a little glue, a little water, a little titanium dioxide. There's stuff in here still. <laughs>